This is the story of a man who not only made us laugh, but also showed us the true meaning of heart, humor, and humanity. Actor John Ritter was best known for his role as Jack Tripper on the 1970s hit comedy series Three's Company. His performance earned him a Golden Globe and an Emmy. But his career spanned almost 40 years of versatile, heart-filled roles. The beloved actor's sudden death in September 2003 left fans shocked and confused. Here's what happened to the award-winning actor and the legacy he left behind. John Ritter was an American actor and comedian. He made guest appearances on The Mary Tyler Moore Show and The Waltons in 1970, Hawaii 5 in 1971, and MASH in 1973 before landing the role of Jack Tripper in Three's Company. Along with hosting and starring in various TV specials, he formed his own production company in 1984. On the big screen, he appeared in a few comedies. Jonathan Southworth Ritter was born on September 17, 1948 in Burbank, California. Son of country singer and actor Tex Ritter and actress Dorothy Faye Southworth, Ritter and his older brother Tom grew up surrounded by show business. As a child, Ritter had no aspirations of following in his parents' footsteps. He attended Hollywood High School and the University of Southern California, where he majored in psychology and minored in architecture. After two years, however, he was persuaded to join a drama class taught by leading drama coach and actress Nina Falk. He soon changed his major to theater arts, graduating in 1971 with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in drama. From 1968 to 1969, Ritter appeared in several stage performances in Europe, including Love Letters, The Glass Menagerie, and As You Like It. He landed the role of Jack Tripper in the 1977 hit comedy series Three's Company. The premise of three attractive singles sharing an apartment in the 1970s hit a chord with TV audiences, who fell in love with the goofy and accident-prone boy next door. His performance earned him a Golden Globe in 1983 and an Emmy in 1984. Along with hosting and starring in various TV specials, including ABC's John Ritter, Being of Sound Mind and Body, Ritter formed his own production company, Adam Productions, in 1984. It was with Adam Productions that Ritter produced and starred in the comedy drama Hooperman, for which he earned critical acclaim. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to remember this if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content. On the big screen, Ritter appeared in a few comedies that played to his gift of physical humor. These included Real Men in 1987 and Problem Child in 1990. His films enjoyed modest success throughout the 90s. In 2001, he received the Theatre World Award for his role in The Dinner Party. He starred in the TV show Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter from 2002 until his death in 2003. Ritter fell ill while filming an episode of Eight Simple Rules on September 11, 2003, suffering chest pain, nausea and vomiting. He was taken to a hospital across the street from the Burbank studio and died several hours later from a torn aorta. Ritter was 54. Unfortunately, doctors initially thought Ritter was experiencing a heart attack, but the treatment for that doesn't help his condition and may have actually made things worse. Despite the fact that he only had to be taken across the street to the hospital, John Ritter died only hours after collapsing on the set of Eight Simple Rules. Ritter experienced a sudden onset of pain and collapsed in front of a horrified cast and crew. Although he and doctors who treated him believed it to be a heart attack, he was actually suffering from an aortic dissection. This term refers to the abnormal separation of tissues within the walls of the aorta, which also causes the blood vessel wall to be weakened and a small tear to form in the aorta wall. The blood from the aorta then leaves through a newly formed channel between the inner and outer walls. The causes of aortic dissection range from high blood pressure to connective tissue diseases, chest injury, and simple family history. 
The pain experienced is described as ripping or tearing and as the worst pain ever experienced, which fits with Kaylee Cuoco's memories of filming that day. After the intense pain, nausea and vomiting, Ritter was taken across the street to Providence St. Joseph Medical Center in Burbank. They diagnosed a heart attack and told Ritter and his wife, Amy Yazbek, that he needed to have an angiogram. While John Ritter asked for a second opinion, Dr. Joseph Lee said that there wasn't time because he was in the middle of a heart attack. They also gave him anticoagulants, according to the Los Angeles Times. The standard for a heart attack, anticoagulants can make the symptoms of an aortic dissection worse. Giving blood thinners to someone who is bleeding internally is an often fatal error. Because of this recommendation at the hospital, Yazbek encouraged her husband. I leaned down to John's ear and said, I know you're scared, but you have to be brave and do this because these guys know what they're doing. And he was brave for all the time I saw him. Tragically, just a few hours after being admitted to the hospital, John Ritter was pronounced dead at 10.48 p.m. Because of the circumstances around John Ritter's death, his wife filed a wrongful death lawsuit against both Dr. Joseph Lee and radiologist Dr. Matthew Lotish. The former was because of his insistence about the angiogram and the latter because of a body scan he completed on Ritter two years prior. If they had known about his condition ahead of time, they could have treated it and been better prepared. The problem was that aortic dissection is hard to diagnose. Dr. Lee didn't think there was time to take a chest x-ray, which would have shown Ritter's enlarged aorta, according to his family attorneys. Doctors could then have addressed it with the correct surgery. Since chest pains are about 100 times more likely to be a heart attack, Lee went with the most likely scenario and acted quickly in an effort to save him. Despite the emotional testimony of Yazbek, the family lost the $67 million lawsuit. The estimate was based on Ritter's potential earning power had he lived. In the United States, aortic disease kills 15,000 people per year, and Yazbek is still working to bring awareness to this disease. And John Ritter's comedic legacy will live on despite the fact that his life was cut short. In 2004, shortly after his death, Ritter was nominated posthumously for an Emmy for his role in Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. The show, later renamed Eight Simple Rules, continued for two more seasons until its cancellation in April 2005. His final films, Bad Santa and Clifford's Really Big Movie, were dedicated in memory of the actor. On June the 6th, 2008, a mural of Ritter painted by Eloy Torres was dedicated at Hollywood High School. Ritter was married to Nancy Morgan from 1977 to 1996. They had three children, Jason, Tyler and Carly. He married actress Amy Yazbek in 1999, with whom he had his fourth child, Noah, in 1998. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have a favorite John Ritter movie or TV show that you like the most or perhaps just a moment in his career that makes you laugh the most? Let us know in the comments below and if you haven't already done so, click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content.